Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to group your data on a pivot table by weeks. So let's see how easy that is to do in Excel. Here I have data from uh, a local university talking about various departments and purchases, the date of the purchases, etc. And I've already created a pivot table and put it on sheet 2 here. And you can see if I open up the field list, so all I've done is put the date into the rows area and the total into the values area. And I've gotten a pivot table that shows each individual day and the purchases for that day going all the way down to June 30th. So my dates are from January 1st of 2014 to June 30th of 2014. So if I go up to the Analyze tab and I go to Group Selection, you can see my choices here are seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, quarters, and years. So if I chose months and said OK, Excel would create on my pivot table a breakdown of the data by month. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup that. I can group again and instead this time choose quarters and I can see it will break it down to quarter one and quarter two. Again, selecting my pivot table, analyze, and go ahead and ungroup that data. But as you can see, when I choose group, there's no choice to do weeks. But how we would accomplish this is quite simple. All we do is choose days, unselect months, and we can kick up the number of days to 7. I'll go ahead and say OK, and now Excel breaks down my pivot table data into 7-day periods the 1st to the 7th, 8th to the 14th, etc. And now I have the data for those week periods. However, you might want to make one more modification to this, and that is determining the day of the week and deciding when your starting point for each 7-day period is. So when looking up January 1st of 2014, we find that that's a Wednesday and June 30th is a Monday. So if I want to go from Monday through Sunday for each of my seven day periods, I'm going to change the starting date from January 1st. I'm going to back it up two days to make it December 30th of the previous year. And since June 30th is a Monday, I'm going to move it ahead six days to make it 7-6 so it ends on a Sunday. So again, I'll click in my pivot table, go to the Analyze tab, Group Selection, I'll leave it as days and number of days 7, but instead I'll change my start date to 12 30 13, and I'll change my ending date to 7 6 14. I'll hit OK. So now Excel has modified my pivot table to go a seven day period, but starting on a Monday of December 30th and going to the Sunday of January 5th and every seven day period after that all the way to June 30th to July 6th of 2014. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.